You already know we got that new Honda Civic. New daily who dis? Don't worry, dude. It's got the sunroof. Got the sunroof, dog. Oh god, Here. it's dirty. This whole car is dirty, dude. And this is a 2001 Honda Civic with a 1.7 VTEC single cam, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't even know, but uh, we already know we're gonna do a poll for you guys. This thing chirps second gear. It's fucking don't retarded. Worry, we got the manual transmission. Oh yeah, it's gotta be stick shift. You already know it. Hey, Colin, is it 127 or 135? 127. 127 horsepower. Back in 2001, so it probably has about 12 now. <laughs> Wait, is the AC off? Right there. Gotta have that extra one horsepower. Oh, here we go. Oh. Suspension feel like it's gonna fall out. Wow, we made it to 50. Oh, 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 oh. Civics. Yep. Uh, you gotta tilt your light, you gotta tilt your mirror, mirror and then you hit the VTEC switch. So you, you're like... Oh, that's, that changes gears now? <laughs> no, it's like a it's like a race car. It's like you got your switches and you're like turning on the car. It's like... VTEC initiated. We're gonna get copyright strike. VTEC, voluptuous tacos, eat corn. <laughs> Yo, time out. Time out, there was a screwdriver stabbed in that guy's dashboard. With a piece of paper on it. That's like a piece of paper, dude. He's like, <laughs> I need my notes for the day. <laughs> All right, so we're back home now and uh, we got Logan's car here and he's clay barring it right now because, uh. Earlier on, we were at Harbor Freight and we just bought a dual action polisher. So we're gonna polish it because uh, when we bought the car, it has a bunch of like spider web scratches in it. And uh, there's like uh, water spots like stuck in the paint and stuff too. So we're just gonna clean it up a little bit and uh, see what we can do. Here it is, here's Colin's new uh, daily. It's kind of ironic, someone commented, uh, uh, drifting your, your daily is a bad idea, but it was like someone said that like right when we got uh, this new car um, So you got you got this pretty much because you want to work on the Lexus and not have to worry about it Operating all the time, right? Of course, and then you have Honda Civic. There you go. They never die. Yeah, okay jinx myself. Yes, but it's all right <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've already had one problem with it since I bought it the fuel pump it's like a really common problem in these like older like Honda Accords and Civics of like this year. The, the like fuel pumps in this like plastic housing and the top of it like cracks and like the seals go out. So I just had to replace that and it's fine now. But no, it's been good. It only has like 154,000 miles on it, which for a Civic isn't that bad. Like I got this thing for like two grand. So for how cheap that is, usually they only have 200 plus thousand miles. So. It's not bad. There's like a little dent right here, you know, whatever. I don't know. I didn't do it, but it doesn't bother me that much. And then the roof and trunk are like faded paint, but... Yeah, gang gang. Woo! <laughs> faded paint gang. It's also disgusting right now. Like, it, I don't know how it's so dirty, but it's been good. Yeah, it's like, it seems like a nice uh, little daily driver. I drove it earlier. It's a... It's nothing like super special, but it's just nice that you can have something reliable and just can count on it. Yep. Interior is like not too bad. It's decently clean. And it gets uh, like, was it 38, 39 miles per gallon? Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. So like you put 40 bucks into it of like 87 and you get like 400 miles. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, more than 400, I think. It's freaking pretty lit though. Yeah. Interior is clean on it. 
I mean, obviously, like it hasn't been like cleaned, but like it's there's no yeah. scratches. That's the thing. Or... Like it's just like a cheap car. I don't really care that much about it. Yeah. I care about my Lexus. Like I work and like make everything perfect on that. But like this, like whatever. It doesn't really leak any oil. It's like a little oily under the pans and stuff, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't think it actually like drops down or anything. But yeah, he got. I mean, the reason you got this is so you can start working on the IS. Yeah. Because I sold, I parted out my silver car that got in the accident. And with that money, I kind of just bought this. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it forever. Like, I only had it for like a week or two now. But I kind of, like, don't You may, may trade it for, like, a, something else. Yeah, or... I might trade it for something else or, like, I don't know. But um, I got it for a good price for what it is. So it's kind of, like, tempting to try and, like, make a couple hundred bucks real quick and buy, like, something else. But we'll see. If I get another car, it's not, like, that crucial to the channel. It's Because I'm not going to do anything to them. Just, like, daily drive them. That's it. So now, enough about that hunk of junk. Screw that thing. They're gonna polish Logan's car. This thing's oh. gnarly. Not all of it, but we're just a little bit. We're gonna see what we can do to fix up the paint because it's a little scratched up and stuff. I, I just showed him. Um, yeah, and it's from fucking Ohio, this piece of shit. Oh, really? It was from Ohio? Yeah. Damn. Dude, did you see my muffler? My stock exhaust was like completely rusted. Jeez. Yeah, the underside of this car is like a little. It's not like frame rust or anything. It's really not anything bad, but like mm -hmm. the like exhaust when we first put on his Nvidia, like oh my god, like every single bolt was just yeah, rusted we on there. Saw it in half to get it off. Oh yeah, we did have to sawzall it off. I forgot about that. Yeah. And same with my end links. So yeah, Logan just trying to do little things to the BRZ. He might get some more mods soon, like floor mats or whatever. Suspension. Just suspension stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, we just uh, did some polishing on the car uh, with that Harbor Freight polisher. It was only like 70 bucks. And uh, it actually made a pretty good difference in the paint. Um, if you look, uh, actually the front bumper is a really good example. This is kind of, used to be really, really nasty. But uh, now it's a lot less uh, water spots and weird big stuff on it. But uh, we, it was kind of rushed. We didn't do a whole lot. We still got some smear marks to clean up and stuff. Oh yeah, we also did the headlights. Headlights were like fogging up and stuff, but now they're like really fresh. Um, if anyone's wondering what we're using, let me pull it out real quick. I was using this guy. Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. So it's actually a really good uh, rubbing compound. And then if we had more time, we didn't even do the whole car, but if we had more time, I would have hit it with the ultimate polish, which would have fixed like the smaller scratches, and then we would have finished it up with some of this. But uh, that's probably gonna be it for today's video. Um, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, please drop a comment and uh, tell us what you think, uh, what we should do next. And uh, yeah, we got plenty of mods coming on the way. And I don't even know what's next. I don't even know what we're gonna film next. Um, little things uh, i think colin's gonna be doing some suspension videos like his angle mods and his rear suspension parts on his i300 so stay tuned for that and other than that we're just gonna be doing some uh little modifications i am super sweaty so i'm gonna shower and play some xbox <laughs> <laughs> so uh thanks for watching the video guys and you got some words of advice for the subscribers dude uh tell your friends about the channel absolute trash Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> DM us. Let us know how you like the videos. You like them? Drop a like. Dislike if you don't like them. Later.